took us few a few years really and then finally we reached to the point that on the 10th of April 1995 we announced the formation of the Islamic Shura Council of Southern California people played very important roles some of them passed away like Dr Ahmad Sakar may Allah bless him uh, Dr Mahir Tuut may Allah bless him uh, Imam Harun Abdullah Imam Sadiq Safir uh, myself Imam Mustafa uh, Imam uh, Murtaza Qazwini before the Shura Council was established people did not even know how many Islamic centers are in this area so it established a, a, a relationship and there are three important quranic principles that were at behind this whole idea one of them is wa'tasimu bi hablillah jami'an wa la tafarraqu hold fast together and be not divided number two that is amruhum shura bainahum that muslims have to consult with each other and talk to each other the third thing is ta'awunu ala al-birr wa at-taqwa cooperate with each other and uh, now alhamdulillah 22 years have passed and shura council has become a major organization not only in southern california but actually throughout the united states and it, there is a voice now for muslims of of southern california i think the catalyst that started this change in mindset of the community was the 2016 election the political environment is actually showing a lot of challenges that the muslim community is facing some of them are external like islamophobia studies show that half the muslim kids in public school today are being teased and bullied even after i had introduced myself as being born and raised in st louis missouri a student raised his hand and said so what kind of money do you guys use well they really think muslims are foreign when i was here at ucla they found out there was a islam 101 class I'm super stoked. I'm like, here's a Muslim professor. He's going to talk about Islam and other people are going to learn about it. And I'm just going to sit here and observe because this is great and I want to see what it's like taking this class in a university setting. Day 1, first thing the professor says is Muhammad is a pedophile. Islam is the most studied uh religion in in this country. But at the same time, it's tragically the least understood. There's so much misinformation out there. It's a matter of educating people. I work uh with a Muslim speakers network on training and development and training people from the community to be available to speak um on Islam and Muslims. We are presenting at universities, colleges, high schools, middle schools and also reaching out to our own Muslim youth. Interfaith groups, churches, 7th grade social science classes, professors who are teaching humanities based classes that might touch upon Islam. So MSN fills that gap. We're there speaking on behalf of Islam and on behalf of you. Our newest program is our Young Inspirers program which aims to give our youth the proper tools to lead our masajid and our Muslim organizations into the future. So with the Sure Young Inspirers program, not only are you going to be able to give back to your community, but you're also going to be working with mentors that will develop your own personal experience. So you're going to be spending time with people from our own community that are well versed in in public relations marketing people that have experience experience in volunteer management uh, people that have uh, experience in financial planning so all those skill sets transfer into your own life what we've been able to do with pops is to make sure that they have good information on what is islam correctly many of the materials we give them is from dr ahmed sakar may allah have mercy upon him uh, sheik uh, mustafa umar many of his books and so we're teaching them the, the basics the core things of this faith and they're learning it they're embracing it and we need more and more of our community to support us in this effort so that we can control the uh, the dialogue and the narrative about those who are being who appeal to islam because they love allah and they love his messenger and they want to become a part of this ummah We also advocate for their rights in prison so that they're able to for instance fast during Ramadan and to be able to break their fast to have a Jum'ah together with someone who can actually deliver a khutbah. We try and give them the proper tools and the proper training to reintegrate into society, to be able to support themselves, to support their families. Prison officials know that Islam absolutely has made changes in the lives of men and women who had been violent. and who had been lost it is our community's responsibility to be sensitized to receiving these brothers and sisters with the fullness of islam essentially what open mosque day was one day in the year at the same time all of the masajid will have their doors open any person can walk into any masjid and there will be people there who will speak to them and who will educate them about islam and this is something that started as a very small project that has now grown nationally and even internationally this last year in 2016 open mosque day happened in over 25 states in the UK in Australia and all over the world 
and we're actually looking to expand it in the years coming. Then we started working on the Islamic centers. So we started Mosque Operation Manual. We call it MOM. <laughs> From that, we commissioned different experts in the field to compile a manual on how to deal with issues once issues come up. Because of the current uh, atmosphere and the political environment that we're living in, the Shura Council decided to establish a new committee called uh, Crisis Response and Communication Committee. We wanted to be a little bit more proactive to deal with situations, but we want to know how to deal with them before they happen or prepare ourselves just in case, whether it's a crisis that's imposed upon the Muslim community or whether it's something that happened to the society around us or internationally as well. This work is so crucial. The need is everywhere. We are stronger when we come together. Alaykum bil jama'ah. You must be together. We have now 120 Islamic centers in Southern California. But not all of them have joined us yet. We should be together, especially at this time. More so than ever, it is important for each and every one of us to come together. More Muslims need to choose to speak up instead of being spoken about. What I fear is that this uh current political climate keeps on keeps on going on that uh, our, our kids uh, will try to hide their faith and they'll try to blend in more to be better accepted. Masajid, mashallah, some of them have a good budget. If every masjid said something we are going to put for the Shura Council, the Shura Council will become very powerful, very, very, very active and will contribute a lot. And this is our appeal to our community is that we, we must continue this, this effort. When you support the Shura Council, you are equipping us with the tools to empower and support each and every one of you. So donate now to empower our community.